I'm Andrew Phillips and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to change out the battery on this Razer Pocket Mod Petite. So let's go ahead and get started. Now this one here is similar to the regular Razer, the Vespa type scooter as shown here. However, this one is a little bit smaller, and one of the big differences is, in it is not just so much the size, but also is the power. On this particular one here, it only takes one 12-volt battery as opposed to two 12 volts like the standard Razors, as in that motorcycle right there behind it, which takes two 12-volt batteries, making up 24. This one only uses 12 total, and that's really the big difference, aside from it being a little bit smaller. The batteries are fairly inexpensive, and I'll put along the bottom where I got this one, but if you order them online, you can get them at various places pretty much in that same bracket. Let's go ahead and open it up. And here we go. You can get them with the harness already attached, but in this case, we're just going to go ahead and detach it from the, the other one and then just attach it to this one. So as long as you've got a good harness, you don't need that, but if, if need be, you can order it with that. Now, it's important that you order the right one for this particular, this particular unit right here because with the standard razors, as we already talked about, they take two 12-volt batteries. However, this is one of the 12-volt batteries right here that goes inside one of the standard Razor motor scooters or motorcycles right here. So it's a different shape, even though the voltage is the same. This is also a 12 and you normally get two of them. They go side by side. That makes up your 24. This one here is a little more squarish and not as rectangular as that one. So you need to make sure that you just don't purchase just a regular 12 volt Razor battery because this is what you'll get is one of these. So you need to specify this particular one here and I'll put along the bottom the actual model number of this one here in case you want to order it and as mentioned already um, where we purchased it from and we got a good deal on that this is a 12 volt 5 amp battery and this is the correct size so as you can see side by side this is what it takes this is what the other ones take it's a lot different so if you wind up with this one, it's not going to fit in there. So just make sure that you order the right one. So let's go ahead now and I'll show you how to access the battery so we can swap it out and get it charged up. Always make sure you have the power off before you do any work with the battery or any of the electric. Coming around here to the back of the seat, there's a little handle where you can lift up the scooter. Right above it, there's two Phillips screws that need to be loosened. And once that's done, then we can raise the seat up and then pull it out and then gain access. Let me get a close up and show you what we're talking about. And then we'll go ahead and loosen those screws. Coming along there, you can see the one Phillips screw. And then if we move over to this slot, zoom in there. There we go. There's the second one. So that's where they're located. And all you'll need is just a, just a regular Phillips screwdriver to get in there and get that. Now to complete this, there's only a couple items that you need. First of all, obviously the battery as we've already talked about. So you'll need that replacement battery. And if need be the harness that goes with it, like I mentioned already, I'm not replacing the harness, so we only have the battery. Next, you are gonna need a Phillips screwdriver with a, kind of a long stem on it so we can get in and I'll show you soon why we're gonna need that. You are gonna need a 532 um, hex wrench or a bit that would go into the ratchet. So one or the other, but these are the only items that you'll need to complete this task. All right, so we'll take the screwdriver, slide it right in, and there we go. Now you don't need to remove the screws all the way. You just wanna loosen them enough so that way you can pop the seat up.
and then you'll be able to raise it like that. That's all we're really looking for. Want to get it to come up enough so we can lift them beyond the washers with the screws, and then we can then slide the whole seat off. So we'll lift it up. Get it above that point. There we go. And then there's a little little bar right there that it's hinging on that you're going to want to lift it and pull it off of. So what we'll do, we'll raise it and then push it towards the back like that. I'm going to slide on this side so you can see it better. Lift it, pull that down, and just come up like that. And it pops right off of these little clips that are mounted on this, this little bar right there. So now the seat is off. Now coming inside here, there's our battery all the way down there at the bottom. You have that metal bracket holding it in place that we'll have to remove. And you'll see on the left there is one of the 532nd hex bolts. And then there's the second one right there on that side. So we'll have to release those two so we can get that bracket off to free up the battery. And then if we come over here, you'll see that harness with the red and black wire going into it that needs to be disconnected because that's connected to the battery and then we're going to move that harness onto the new battery so let's go ahead and get all that detached so we can pull that battery out now there's not a lot of space in there as we just saw so we can get to it from here and then also underneath there's openings there where you can get your hands in there as well and that's the best way to get to it on some of the other razor scooters there's more accessibility for whatever reason this one's a little bit tight in there so we're going to go ahead through the top to disconnect the harness to the battery and then to get to those two hex bolts on the sides it's easier to get to them here from the bottom um, from here on the sides here at the bottom and i'll get a close-up as we do that but let's go ahead and start detaching all that and then there's also a little zip tie that i'm going to have to cut as well i'll get a close-up of that and then we'll, we'll go ahead and put another one on afterwards because we'll need that in order to free up the wires to the harness there's the zip tie that needs to be cut right there going around the main tubular frame going down. But you got to be careful because there's other wires, as you can see, they're wrapped in there. You don't want to cut them. So you want to go in gently and make that snip to free that up. There we go. Get another. Okay. That's all freed up now. With that zip tie cut off, now we can pull the, right there, the red and black to the battery. Get it this way. And you're probably gonna need two hands to do it because one needs to disconnect it and the other one needs to pull it. And there we go. Next, we need to remove that bracket and we have these two hex screws. So we'll come in here from the bottom. And we'll go ahead and loosen this. If you want to use a ratchet, it might be easier. But I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and loosen these and then we'll be back. Make sure you put those in a safe spot. You don't want to lose those. And now we're ready to remove the battery. And see right there, it's loose. So we can pull it up through the top. Remove the bracket first. And now we'll grab the battery, pull it up. I'm gonna show you the, the dilemma here. You have this other unit right here, 
and it gets tight in this opening, so you can bring the battery up to there, you can't get it past it. So to make it easier, what you're gonna wanna do is remove this, this other piece of plastic here, which is held on by one hex screw, and I'll show you, and then a Phillips, and then you'll need to remove this bracket right here to slide it around it, and then you'll have full access to get that out easily. Here's the hex bolt right here. Just go ahead and loosen that. We can get that out. Then you have one Phillips there, one Phillips there. And if we come here on this side, you have that one Phillips there. So I'm going to go ahead and remove those three, and then we'll be back to pop this off. All right, so this is off now. You can see this is ready to come up. There are two little clips here underneath. I'll get a close-up of that. You have one of these clips on each side. And basically all that you're going to do is just push it in this direction here, and then it'll pop right up. Now you want to be careful, and I'll show you also, there are, there are some electrical connections here that you don't want to damage by pulling it too hard. And those are your electrical connections there for your on and off switch and your charging port. They are connected here to this, so you want to be careful when you lift this that you don't jeopardize those in any way. If you want to use a flathead screwdriver to push on that tab a little bit, that helps. There we go. So now that we have it off, we can lift it. But like I said, you want to be careful. You don't put any stress on these. So we'll lift it just enough. We can get the battery out. Now with it out, we can swap the harness out. Put the new one in and start charging it. So the first thing we need to do, you have these little protective caps on here. Go ahead and slide those off of the new battery. Now on the harness, they have, they're kind of glued down. So we need to go ahead and just break those off. Just lift them up like that. Just enough so we can slide these off the ports. So let me clear the rest of these off. We're going to clear the rest of this off, and then we'll be back to slide this off. So because this was the factory battery, the harness was actually soldered on. So I went ahead, and I didn't show it in this video, but I went ahead and desoldered it off and then just put female connectors on it. So that way we can slide it onto the new battery and then just went ahead and insulated them as well. So now all we have to do is just... Slide these on, and we're ready to roll. Now, in some cases, if, the, if it's hard to desolder it, you may have to actually snip the wires off, which is fine, because if you're going to do like I did and put these female clips on there, it doesn't really matter. So now we have the new battery. We can go ahead and put it back onto the scooter so we can start charging it. We'll lift this up again, bring the battery in. Get it in place. There we are. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and reattach the, the bracket to hold it in place, and then we'll connect the harness, tighten all this up, and put everything back together. The battery bracket is back on. You can see there's one of the hex nuts on that side and there's the other one on that side so now we're ready to connect the harness and then we'll go ahead and zip tie everything in place and then put the uh, this body panel back on in the seat now we're ready to connect the battery go ahead and bring the harness connect it till you hear it click there we go 
You can see down in there, I added the zip tie back in place. Now everything is in the way that it should be. So let's go ahead and reconnect the body and the seat, and then we'll be back. You can see down there, what I did is I went ahead and used a hot glue gun and just kind of glued those connections in place so they can't shift. Did the same on the other side here. There you go, you can see that down there. Just as a precaution, so things don't detach since we didn't solder this one. Everything is on, nice and secure. We're going to go ahead and connect the charger, charge the battery, and then let it charge until you get a full charge. Anytime you put a new battery in, you want to do a complete charge, let it go until it's green. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that after you do have the initial charge and you drive your scooter, always put it back on the charger. Unlike some rechargeable batteries where you want to drain it all the way down and then recharge it for the, for the memory of it, you don't want to do it with these because you'll wind up destroying the battery. So. Anytime you're done driving it, connect it back to the charger and fully charge it before you ride it again. So let's go ahead and connect it, and then that'll wrap this up. And you want to make sure that the power is off while it's charging. So this pretty much wraps up this video on how to change out the 12-volt battery on a Razor uh, Petite Mod scooter that we have right here. I hope that this video was informative for you. I hope it helped you out with any projects you might be working on where you're trying to change out your battery. Please send me any questions and comments. I would love to hear from you. As always, I appreciate all the support. Please like the video, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you next time.